Hey guys, and welcome back to Urban Strike. Let's continue. Oof. Damn, bro. That's a big fucking gun. Malone has changed his tactics. He is using a full force airstrike and attacking civilian targets in New York City. This has caused widespread panic on the ground. Fleeing civilians have pinned down our ground troops. Oof. We need you to airlift there, in there, and take out Malone's building command center. Civilians are trapped in upper stories of burning skyscrapers. His troops are keeping rescues away. Take out as many of the enemy aircraft as you can find. This will slow down the attack. Then figure out what you can do to rescue those civilians and move them to a secure area. Special info. Just arrived. Uh, states that the NAFTA leaders uh, are meeting in the World Trade Center and they're in danger as well. The center of this confusion, we believe they are being held hostage. Be on your toes. Good luck. Indeed. We shall be lucky this day, hopefully. Right. Well, as we start off, we're like right under fire. These guys really aren't screwing around. Ah, now, I think the first thing to do is to destroy these buildings. These buildings are Malone's buildings, and they're actually radar towers, I believe. They're really freaking sneaky. So let's go grab up the quick winch. Now, supplies are very plentiful in this mission, actually. But most of them are hidden. And uh, this was one of my favorite missions back in the day. Just because it was so cool to be above the buildings, man. It really does look like a dense city. It's really, really nice. Um, we're going to destroy all of these that we can. Uh, pretty much everything on top of these buildings you can blow up. And man, I remember as a kid, I used to love destroying as much of the city as I possibly could. Does that make me a bad person? Maybe. Uh, Malone's financial headquarters, alerted by two radar buildings. Ah, even says there, take out Malone's HQ to blind his monitoring of the attack on the New York City. Take out the two buildings south of his HQ first. To shut down the alert zone in the area. Okay, well that we have done. Now there are troops and enemies out the ass on this mission. But that's fine, because we're equipped to deal with these guys. Strafing is your friend here. I can't remember. I can't believe I forgot that we could even strafe. Do you need to be a little bit careful though? Because, as you can see, some buildings you can crash into. It's not always clear. Uh, the civilian building, never mind. They never notice us. It's not always clear what we can destroy and what we can't. So, or what we can fly over. Oh, Jesus. All right, another one of these twin choppers. Actually is a twin chopper this time as well, but that's fine. We're going to be seeing plenty of those guys. You better believe it. Not bad. Oh, shit, another one. See what I mean? See what I mean? Kill it. They're not exactly air wolf, but... They can definitely give us a bloody nose if we're not careful. Oh god, really didn't want to push that button then. Wrong button. Firing the wrong weapons. Now, yeah, these water coolers sometimes have good stuff in. Uh, we're not getting very lucky here though. Oh god. Right, engage at long range. And we got hit by a building. Look how cool these are. These actually have Malone written on them. We're going to cripple him financially. Kick him right in the sacks of money. But... I'm pretty sure he already has pretty much everything he needs to take over the world, which is worrying. Apparently, all you need to take over the world is money and soldiers. Which is interesting. Kind of makes a lot of sense when you think about it. Boom! Mission one complete. Nice. Right, okay. Good stuff. Hey, friend. Didn't see you there. Oh, you little whippersnapping bastard. Come on. Come on. What you got? What you got? What you got? You really think you can hang the strike core? Yeah, that's what I thought. Okay, we've completed three campaigns. Well, two, technically. Almost three. Um, now, I'm just going to continue opening up as many buildings as we can. Okay, so we've got some armor there. Good to know, actually. Um, so if we need to get that armor later, which we may well do... Uh, there's a lot of enemies on this mission, but there's a lot of dudes that we need to save. So plenty of opportunity to repair. And again, because this game doesn't like us, it doesn't tell us where armor repairs are. 
So, let's begin mission two. And we are... Oh, God. Uh, we had... <laughs> we were out of ammo. We actually died because we ran out of ammo. Well, that was embarrassing. Oh, man. Okay. That's the trouble when you get these really high-end... Oh, man, come on. When you get these really high-end uh, co-pilots. Oh, nice. You just... Uh, you burn through your guns so fast. Bearing in mind, my guns aren't on auto-fire anymore. We're not using turbo-fire. This is just how crazy fast uh, long-haul fires. Which, admittedly, uh, he doesn't feel much better than uh, the last co-pilot we had. She was pretty damn boss on her own. But it's, yeah, it's difficult. You gotta be careful, because you can just shred everything. Right, let's start dropping off these civilians. And whilst we're dropping off the civilians, we can read our next briefing. Luckily, there is another life on this mission, so it's not the end of the world. Man, I can't believe. I was like, wait a minute, my buttons aren't working. You, <laughs> oh no, we're out of ammo. Rescue civilians from burning buildings. Save the 27 civilians from the burning buildings. Get them to safety before the roofs begin to collapse. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you don't actually have a time limit here. A real sense of urgency. Um, there is not. So take your time. And it's quite useful to keep a few of these uh, civvies around as well. Just in case you need armor repair later on. Uh, God, that, I can't believe I died, man. Run out of ammo. What a bastard. Never mind. Wow, how much armor do they have? 300? That doesn't seem right. Maybe they do have 300. I, mean, I guess they have 300. Right, okay. So let's unload civilians here. So landing zone. These pads are safe. Drop off points for MIAs and POWs. Your vehicle's armor is increased for each person you drop off. Yeah, but not by much, actually. I think it's only increased by 100 this time round. Where, uh, I think it was always 100, actually. But in this game, because you're, you've got 1,000 points of armor, which is the same as Jungle Strike, it just, you can't get a full repair like you could in Desert Strike. But in Desert Strike, you only have 600 points of armor. So, yeah. Your chopper was nowhere near as strong as this bad boy. This is a pretty tough bird. Ah, we've got some more armor here as well. Good to know. Uh, we'll keep an eye on that. All right, let's open up these. Any goodies for us? No. Stingy bastards. But there is a building there to slap into, which is, well... Not great, to be honest, but that's fine. Ah, see this. Another one of Malone's buildings. Destroy these. These are radar sites. That will actually... Dr destroying that building will drop an alert zone for a later on mission, which is quite smart. Quite a smart thing to do. It's called planning. If you're not planning to succeed, you're planning to fail or something. I know that's a quote. Ah, all right, come on. Come on, there we go. Uh, and we got nothing. Right, so we've got no load on board. Let's go grab some more civvies then. Ooh, hello. Rocket guys, that's fine. Just blast those guys into space. And nothing. So, do we have any choppers around here? It doesn't look like it. That's fine by me. One might spawn as we're picking these dudes up. Yep, right on cue. Send him crashing back to Earth in a trail of flames. Uh, fuel is getting low. Armor's not bad. Whoa, almost. Come on, nice. Yes. King of the skies. Uh, right, civilians. Is that all the civilians? Really? No, I don't think so. Uh, we've only got like two units of fuel, or two barrels of fuel, on the map. Huh. That's a bit awkward. There is more, obviously. There's a lot more, but we just haven't uncovered it. Have you got fuel for me? No, stingy bastards. You, you've got fuel for me, haven't you? Huh? Yeah, yeah you actually do. Nice. 
Ask and you shall receive, guys. There we go. What have we got going on here? Uh, yeah. Ah, actually, we've got four fuel on the map, apparently. All right, that's cool. All right, let's drop these dudes off and swing back. We'll be back for you guys later. Try not to burn to death horribly in the time that we're gone. We will be back, I promise. Oh, man, my phone's going mental. My phone's going mental. Guys. Calm down. I got so many messages. Ah, uh, yes, I got like four people. I got to respond to. I'm trying to record my game. I'll get back to you guys soon. Right. Okay. Let's go grab some dudage. There we go. Chopper full of dudes. Now this would have been a great helicopter to have the Black Hawk because look how many guys that we've just scooped up, and we really need some go juice as well. So let's go pick up that stuff. Come to Papa. You know, I'm curious actually at going back and watching my original LPs of these games and seeing what they're like. Ah, oh, I mean, I don't know, man. But oof. Oh, hey, sir. Good night. Or oh, would have been good night, but apparently you have upgraded armor now, which is a little bit sucky McSuckfest. Ooh, nothing. I know you like it when you blast something open and it's full of nothing. I'm sure there's a quote in there about life. Oh, God. I thought, like, what the hell's going on? We just, like, backed up. Span around. Come on. Back to the ground with you. Burning. Burning in flames. Oh, we've got a max load again. Uh, there's loads more civvies, I guess, we could pick up. But, and we will, but for now, let's leave them where they are. Because they're just... Uh, Points of armor waiting to be picked up. Uh, weaponry? Uh, that's not bad, I suppose. Nah, we'll pick some up. There's so much weaponry on this mission that we might as well just scoop it up. Smoke them if you got them. Right. Uh, one second, guys. I'm getting very paranoid about my recordings. I'm like, shit, is it working? Is it working? Yes, it's working. And if you had to replay this level... Or any of these other levels. Would it really be the end of the world? I mean, come on. It's freaking Urban Strike, man. I'd be replaying these in my old folks' home. Uh, right, yeah. This should be an alert zone of the highest caliber. We should be getting our ass well and truly flexed. But because we destroyed those buildings that the game doesn't really tell you about, uh, we're not actually in an alert zone. Now, this is Mission 3. Mission 3 is a doozy. We've got to destroy all of these helicopters. And we'll read the blurb in a minute. Um, did it, did it, did it. Choppers. Dispose of enemy choppers on rooftops protected by one radar building. That's the one we destroyed earlier. Dispose of Malone's enemy choppers. Malone's enemy choppers. That doesn't make sense. They're not his enemy. They're our enemy. Um, located on a rooftop depot on the east side of town. Yeah, we have to destroy nine, but there's like 14 or... 13 of them or something now some of these are actually active like that which is fun because we get to have a bit of uh, aces high come on challenge me fool uh we have no rockets left which is awkward but hey we have guns oh let's go grab some ammo because i like fighting these with rockets send them crashing down to the streets below Full of uh, hellfires. Well, hydras, I guess. Uh, maybe shouldn't have wasted rockets on him. Wow, look at this. More armor. Um, yeah, th see, this mission's really easy. We, again, died due to being unlucky. You have to be quite useless to die here, really. Well, that's not fair. If Obviously, if you don't know the game very well, then uh, <laughs> this game can be quite hard. But for me, personally, I so many deaths here really shouldn't have happened in this LP but I'm keeping them in because I promised I would come on there we go nice anything good in there fuel fuel's always good fuel's good we'll have fuel we like fuel um we could go get the extra life we destroyed all the choppers we only destroyed 11 interesting though uh oh there, see 
Yeah, there we go. It's not actually showing us any more now. But there definitely there's definitely more because uh I destroyed let's go grab the armor. I destroyed um thirteen or fourteen of them or something when I was testing this game. Uh earlier right let's grab this armor there's more armor dotted all over the place there's probably more armor that we haven't uncovered as well but hey that's cool we got enough to get by oh there's another chopper up here well waste not want not oh he's gone smoked him 13 get fucked okay not bad oh there's armor in that building i remember that one because there's a dude standing on it He's like, this is my helmet. I don't think so, friend. It's my helmet. Our helmet's getting a little bit duffed up at the moment. Oh, God. <laughs> Just woke the pilot up there. It's just like, on your head, mate. Now. Uh, oh, that's an extra life. Yes, it is. There we go. I think that's the only extra life on this mission. I'm not 100% sure, but it's the only one I found. Yeah, these are like the radar buildings. I don't think they're all radar buildings, but at least two of them are. There we go. Nuked him. Nuked him, Rico. Okay. Now, we've only got one mission left. Dude, we've, we've, we're on this. We've annihilated this mission. No, we've got two missions left, but one, one isn't really a mission. Um, right, so rescue NAFTA leaders from damaged World Trade Center. Fly to the Trade Center and save the 20 NAFTA business leaders before the Trade Center suffers further damage. Hit the radar building east of the World Trade Center first, which we have. No, so, okay, they all are radar buildings then. That's cool. We've hit them all. Right, planning, yo. Uh, what have we got? We've got no load on board. Excellent. Um, this is really weird. Like, I heard those guys say... Uh, that you should not cut the green wire on the bomb. Yes, remember that. You should not cut the green wire on the bomb. Yeah, this is really bizarre because the world... I mean, this game is set in 2001, I think. And the World Trade Center, of course, was destroyed in 2001. Which is really crazy when you think about it. And, uh, yeah, the whole idea that, you know, playing this game now, um, six years after this game came out, that the world... Trade Center wouldn't be there. That's pretty kind of harrowing thinking about that, to be fair. Yeah, I still remember uh, driving, well, not me driving home, but uh, my dad driving me home from school uh, that day, hearing about how it's going to be World War Three and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, crazy, crazy stuff, man. Uh, anyway, let's go. Them crazy fucking terrorists, man. Jesus. Right, let's go continue picking up these dudes. They will somehow jump onto the roof of uh, the building next <laughs> to the World Trade Center. Uh, I mean, that's pretty ballsy of them. I'm not going to lie about that. Uh, I mean, hey, more power to them, I guess. Uh, I guess we could go to this one. I'm not really sure which one's closer, to be honest. They seem to be roughly the same distance away. But we'll spread the load out, you know. We don't want to overcrowd one building, especially with all these rockets and lasers and stuff flying around. Pretty awkward, really. Now, I'm not quite looking forward to the next mission. It's pretty fun from what I can remember. Uh, but it's a very difficult mission to 100%. Because there's so many enemy tanks and shit from what I can remember. But, oh yeah, right, okay. Well, we just got to fuck those guys and... Okay, I mean, that's that's some pretty wicked skills. Uh, we're going to cut the green one. The red wire. Uh, apparently, that was the wrong wire to cut. So, <laughs> I'm going to leave that in. Because I'm leaving in the fails. And I guess I will catch you guys back here in a minute. God damn it. Yeah, there's actually usually a lot of fails when recording these videos. <laughs> yeah, okay, so I guess you have to cut the blue wire. I thought as long as it wasn't the green wire, it doesn't matter. Uh, I did mean to cut the blue wire, but I pushed the wrong button. Because of course I did, because I'm a fucking idiot. But there we go, right, one second, guys. 
Right, let's try that again, shall we guys? Once more with feeling, I believe the phrase is. So, we've got to cut the blue wire, which is A. So there we go, disarmed. We actually did it properly that time. And then we've got our friend that's flying backwards at us. We waste his ass. There we go. Sorry, no more room. Damn, brother. Uh, now, the good thing, the good news, <clears throat> is I didn't actually die this time round. As you can see, I've still got the four lives. Uh, so I guess commentating makes things hard. Hey, who would have thunked it? Thinking with my brain and trying to fiddle things with my hands apparently is difficult and making words come out of my face hole. Uh, apparently makes me shit at games, but I mean, I'm not exactly great at games anyway, but hey. I, I don't know. That, I, I, I consider myself uh, an average gamer. I'm not brilliant, but I'm okay. I can get through pretty much most games. I can even complete hard games. There we go. All done. I can even complete uh, games on the harder difficulties if I actually sit down and give it some time. I completed quite a few games on hard, actually. Uh, but as a rule though, I don't enjoy harder difficulties. I enjoy going with standard difficulty because I, as I've said, shoot, as I've said, I play for fun, not to get annoyed and pissed off. And, uh, I always find as well when you're playing on harder modes, they start limiting your weapons and ammo and all that stuff. And it's like, man, if I'm playing a game, I want to freaking blast stuff. I don't want to be worrying about the fact that I've got six bullets left to get me through the next five hours of gameplay. <laughs> last of us <laughs> so yeah if they're going to give me some cool weapons i want to enjoy them and use them right so that's done uh what else have we got left to clean sweep it's still saying the world trade center is still blipping up and we've got choppers to destroy and we need fuel so let's go pick up some go juice let's get this dude as well well, that's the last of the civilians. Where was our go juice? It's up here. Cool. Let's go grab that. It's kind of interesting um, leaving in the fails as well because I think some people just think that I'm really good at strike. And although I know my way around, I still do die quite a lot, especially uh, when I'm testing the game. In fact, this game's been very easy. I've only had, a, what, two deaths so far, I think. Uh, which, you know, for one of these games isn't actually that bad. Um, Jungle Strike, oh man. <laughs> Jungle Strike, There's uh, I failed at least twice the amount. Um, Desert Strike wasn't too bad. That was I think I got through that one without much trouble. Uh, this one is putting up a little bit of resistance, but most of the deaths have been down to straight bullshit. Um, but unfortunately, I was hoping to get this game finished uh, today. But I think this is all the recording time I'm going to have. So, I'm just going to nip by the World Trade Center one last time. Who was that? How very rude of you to be firing rounds at me. Oh, you, sir. Oh, we're at Hydra's. Have a Hellfire. There you go. Share it with your friends. Shrapnel to the face. Now, these swimming pools we can actually destroy as well. Yeah. I don't think they ever have anything inside. And these always, to me, look like folded towels that you can find in the bathroom. They're obviously uh, cooling towels or some shit. But And I think these little like hedges, I don't really know what these are. I don't think the gardener would like to come up here. But they look like hedges to me. Uh, right, World Trade Center. Do you have anything for me? Apparently not. Can't even land there again. Okay, uh, yeah, mm, maybe it's maybe it's glitched. I don't know. Uh, let's get out of here anyway, and take this home. So that's another mission done. So this is mission seven, I think. So we've only actually got three left, and one of those is on foot, and I think it's quite a hard on foot mission, but. <laughs> We shall cover that a little bit later on. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And as always, till next time.